If you are looking for the best travel car seat, a car seat to take on the plane with you, I have narrowed it down to the top five best contenders, and I'm gonna go over the pros and cons and which one I am choosing for myself in this video. My name is Brittany, I love to travel and go on adventures with my son and my husband. My son's almost two years old now, and we've gone on almost 30 flights together, and it is now time to level up his travel car seat. We are still using a bucket car seat, an old Chico bucket car seat, for him and he is outgrowing it quickly. So for our new car seat, we want something that is not too expensive. We don't need any of these super luxurious $700 car seats. We need something that is lightweight, not too bulky. Our current car seat is super bulky, I would say, not super convenient for travel, but we have traveled with it a lot. And finally, we want a car seat that my son has room to grow into because I don't want to be buying a new car seat really soon after buying this one. I want it to hold up to like 50, 60 pounds, something like that, ideally. And for us, this will be his travel car seat, but also his only car seat because we're quite minimalistic. We don't wanna have multiple car seats in our one bedroom apartment. If you've seen some of my other videos, you might know that we've only ever had one stroller for my son as well, the same stroller that we've taken traveling with us all over the place, which actually was a secondhand stroller that we got from Facebook Marketplace for $10. So that should give you kind of an idea of the sort of frugalness we're working with here. As I'm going over the five car seats in this video, you might also wanna follow along on a spreadsheet that I made of all of my travel car seat research. It also includes all of my travel stroller research and travel bed research and travel toddler bed on the airplane research. You can get all of that completely for free with my newsletter down in the description below. I will try to remember to put a link down there. Okay, car seat number one that I have considered is the Way B Pico. This is probably like the coolest, most space age car seat on this list. It's only eight pounds, which is amazing. One of the lightest ones on this list. It's super compact. You can fold it on into like this teeny tiny thing and carry it with you, which is super appealing to me. So you can bring it on the plane with you and it won't get damaged by being being checked. It fits in cars anywhere. You just unfold it and put it right into the right onto a seat in the car. But the cons of this one, it's expensive. It's more expensive than a lot of the other ones on this list. It cannot be rear facing, so you can't use this for little babies and little toddlers. So it starts at 22 pounds. You can start using this at 22 pounds and it goes until 50 pounds. So that's pretty good, uh, up to 50 pounds. That's like the average four and a half, five-year-old maybe, I think. Another con is that if you want the travel bag, the cup holder, and the seat protector, those are all another, an extra $160. My son is now almost old enough for this option, but I think unless we can get it secondhand, this might be a little bit too expensive for us. And it's really hard to get car seats secondhand because they expire, as you may or may not know. From the time that they're manufactured, their time starts running out, and usually they're good for like between five to eight years. Oh, my son is awake, so he might be joining us for the rest of this video. Can you see Mama? Okay, come here. Mama's making a little video. All right, number two on this list is the Costco Sonera Next, which is a super popular travel car seat, mostly because it's very cheap. It's only $60. It's super light, it weighs 6.8 pounds, and you can use this one rear facing. You can use it rear facing up to 40 pounds. Mm -hmm. Hello? Hello! Now, a major con for me with this one is that I can't get it easily in Canada. This is actually a problem with a lot of these car seats. I really want them as travel car seats, but I'm living in Vancouver right now in Canada. For some of these car seats, I can get them here, but they're a lot more expensive. So instead of $60, I'll end up paying like $150. So what we might do is drive down to Seattle one weekend and pick up one of these car seats. Another con of the Costco Sonera for us is that it only goes up to 40 pounds, which isn't bad. I guess that's like the average four-year-old, but it still means I'll have to buy another car seat at some point. Whereas with some of the other car seats, this would be the only car seat that I ever need. The third car seat on my list is the Baby Trend Trooper. It's not too expensive at about $100 and not too heavy at 10.4 pounds. Big con for me though is that it only seems to be available in the United States. 
Number four is the CARES harness, the CARES airplane harness. So this is not a traditional airplane or car, not a traditional car seat. It's not a car seat. You can't use it in the car. You can only use it on the airplane. It's about $90. It's not bulky at all, obviously, because it's just like essentially a set of straps. Super lightweight, super travelable. It fits around the seat of an airplane and holds the toddler in place with just a few straps. Cons are that it's not for young babies, which is not a problem for us personally right now, but for a lot of other babies. It's for 22 to 44 pounds, but the big con is that you can't use it at your destination as a car seat because it's not a car seat. And the fifth car seat that we are considering is the Graco Contender Slim. $160, still not terrible compared to a lot of the fancier car seats out there. And a big pro is it can be used from five pounds from newborn until 65 pounds. So really this could be the, la the first and only car seat you ever need. I think if I had known about this one when my son was born, this might have been the one that I'd chosen. The cons are that it weighs 16 pounds, so it's a little bit on the heavier side compared to a lot of the other travel car seats and the price is a little bit higher than some of the other ones. So which car seat are we gonna choose? We are going to head down to the States next month and I want to actually see these car seats in person but right now I am strongly leaning toward number three the baby trend trooper but I want to put this in your hands as well guys let me know in the comments down below if there's a travel car seat lightweight not too bulky not too expensive and good for a long time, you know, good until your toddler is four or five years old. Let me know if you found something like this in the comments down below. Thank you so much for watching. I hope this video is helpful for you starting your own research and I'll see you in my next video.